Uh, welcome, Ms. Karen Williams, U.S. Ambassador of the Republic of Suriname. Thank you for joining us today for the CODET Class of 2020 graduation ceremony. I would also like to welcome the CODET ladies and the CODET uh, graduates who will be graduating today. Uh, we started CODET Bootcamp in September of 2019 and it extended to August 20, 2021, which is today. Um, the reason why we started CODETS Bootcamp was because after I graduated Fab Academy in 2019, which was an MIT maker program, which lasted about five months, um, my goal was to be able to share what I learned in that program with other ladies in the sector in Suriname. Because of CODETS Foundation, my goal has always been to educate and um, motivate women in innovation and ICT. But we had two challenges when I, I came up with that idea. The first challenge would be that the program was very intensive because I already had three years of ICT experience and it, it was very short, which is five months uh, cycle. So I was thinking that it would be a challenge for the young women or the women in Suriname. And it was quite expensive. Uh, so we um, presented this project to the US Embassy and they believed in the project and they sponsored us. That's why we were able to um, go on this journey, which extended a little longer than we anticipated, but it was successful. We started, yeah, we started on, oh, it's not loading. Yes, we started this journey um, on, the, on our introduction day on October 5th, 2019. We were um, visited by um, Sir Michael Keith, and um, we started with 15 students. We had st um, high school students, students from the Polytechnic School, working moms and entrepreneurs, and students from the university, which out of the 15, seven will be graduating today. Uh, we, as you can see here, we have the uh, dishes and the bill. She's from high school. On the right is Jael from the Polytechnic School, and Ivy is a working mom and entrepreneur on the left corner. In the CODES Bootcamp, our requirements were to develop skills such as on listed here, 15 requirements from project management to video production, embedded programming, touching business model canvas, being able to design and fabricate your own printed circuit boards from scratch, um, programming um, front end programming languages, and also participating in local hackathon automate hackathon competition, which is automation competitions. And by the end of this program, they would have to prove their skills by developing an end-to-end -end IoT solution with the skills that they've developed. And let's take a walk through um, memory lane of what the students have covered within this period of time. So you can see we did project management on the first day because we encourage project management because if it's not documented, we say it's not, it never happened, so everything must be recorded. Um, they did video production. They learned to work with Adobe Premiere to montage their videos and footages so that it can add it to their documentation and make their marketing videos. Um, we had uh, trainers come in to train our students on um, sketching with paper because before they were able to sketch online, um, design online, they have to visualize and be able to sketch their designs on paper, paper first so that they can dimensionize their projects and their designs correctly. We did embedded programming where the students were taught how to program a microcontroller such as the Arduino and the ESP32. Here they also learned the fundamentals of electronics and, and C programming. They were also taught how to, like I mentioned, the, um, design their own printed circuit boards from scratch and fabricating it using the CNC machines at the lab, at the IoT lab. They were also taught how to do advanced 3D designs using software such as Adobe Premiere and, and fabricating their designs using 3D, the 3D printers at the lab. They were also taught how to program for their front end applications so that they can communicate to their embedded devices so they're able to build an end to end IoT Internet of Things solution. Another requirement for our students was that they had to participate in a local challenge so that they could. Um, prove their skills so that they can show us that they've actually learned in depth the skills that were taught in, in class. So our students participated in a local Hakomation competition, which is a three month competition where they had to build an end-to-end -end solution in teams. So they formed two teams and one of our CODETS team, um, Innovators, took the first prize. 
innovators build a IoT solution for tourism in Suriname. And Ivy will speak a little bit about their, that project uh, in a bit because she was, was team lead for that group. Another um, achievement from our CODET students was they compete, oh yeah, yeah, they competed in a Caribbean girls hackathon, which consisted of 20 islands, 500 students and 100 team. They were requested two weeks prior to the deadline to compete. And they did not only win the first prize, they won both and the second prizes for that competition. And we were extremely um, uh, excited and happy about the, their achievement and proud of them. And because of that achievement, we were invited by the first lady to, um, to get some words of, from her, of, a nice words from her and thanking us for our achievement. And she gave, she gave the students some prizes also for their hard work. Yes. Uh, these are some of the other, some of the memories that we had with the students working in the labs. They started with the basic electronic development. Um, circuits to doing the mats and 3D designs and et cetera. There's a lot more from where that came from and up with all of their hard work. Yeah, some of the final projects that the students had to develop um, for the Kodas Boot Campbell final projects, projects that were um, prototypes that once upscaled, they could bring it to market. Some of this, the graduates made um, IoT for agriculture solutions. Ivy made a IoT um, solution for kids with dyslexia. Jael made an automated um, IoT solution for automating of aquaponic systems. Um, Fate built an augmented reality shopping system. Chiwishka built a GPS tracker system for monitoring children in areas that probably is not, might not be safe. Chiwishka, um, Devika made a security IoT for security system. And Drishti made an automated vacuum cleaner, IoT Connected. <laughs> yes. Um, before I continue, um, I will ha have the ambassador, uh, Ms. Karen Williams, to take over. But before I get there, I would like to go over the ecosystem on what our vision is, has been, and will be for the future and where we are today. Um, we started off with this ecosystem, let me move this to the bottom, um, where um, the U.S. Embassy has sponsored the CODADS Bootcamp program, where we were able to execute all of these skills here on the right. And um, the students also participated in local hack formation. They're skilled enough to participate in the hackathon. But because of the CODADS Bootcamp and my initial concern, where the students from, that come into CODADS Bootcamp does not have a prior background in ICT. It was really intensive. That's why we had to extend to more than a year. So we decided to branch out a smaller program called InnoStarter, which is a three-month program where the students would develop the basic skills first, and then they will enter in the CODADS Bootcamp so it could stay that one year period instead of extending the CODAD Bootcamp to about two years. So we have this, the Inno Starter program currently going on two cycles per year and the CODAD Bootcamp, which is a year. And our goal right now is to create um, innovation factory kits, which we can distribute in different regions in Suriname. And we'll run a Girl Tech League in collaboration with the First Lady because we had a meeting with her um, office yesterday and they were enthusiastic to help her, us execute this mission so that we can expand local um, in different districts in Suriname. So we are currently focused on that as our mission and to continue cycling the Kodas Bootcamp and the Inno Starter Program so that we can help more ladies get into the sector, the ICT sector in, in Suriname. We currently have students that have graduated Kodas Bootcamp being hired through our organization to work in local tech companies for us programmers, web managers, and also working in the, the local labs like Philosophical Labs, et cetera. So our vision that we had is, is coming into fruition and we are extremely grateful for the US Embassy for being our first sponsor and for believing in our pilot. And for also the students for pioneering with us in, on this mission. And even though it took longer, hard work does pay off and we will expand and get to higher heights as we go move forward. <laughs> I hope that you guys know that this is just the beginning 
Um, and I urge you to continue to further develop your skills so that you guys can specialize in whatever aspects you decide to specialize from what you've learned within the Kodas Bootcamp. Right. Thank you very much. I would like to invite um, the ambassador, uh, Ms. Karen Williams, to say a few words. Um, uh, welcome. Thank you, Julie. Thank you very much. Um, it's a great honor to be here. And frankly, it's an honor for the embassy to be associated with your project uh, with the CODETS Foundation and all of the, the really innovative and great work that you're doing. Uh, and, and just to hear the recap of the things that you have done uh, over the time of the project so far, it is just extraordinary. I mean, before uh, the the event started today, I was thinking about, okay, what are inspirational things that I can say uh, to a group of young ladies working in the ICT field or entering into the ICT field? And I realized it was difficult for me because you all are really the ones that inspire me. I mean, the, the, I, I'm from the generation where ICT is scary. Oh, and uh, I'm, I'm sure there's many when I was younger and just starting into some of the fields that were mostly male dominated, like, like being a diplomat, um, that, that other people would have thought that was scary, but it was just what I really wanted to do. Uh, so there were some scary aspects, but it was what I wanted to do. And I think when, uh, when I look at this group, you know, uh, it, you're, you're, you're unafraid and that's wonderful. Uh, for me, what you know, to, to not have that fear of a, 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 an arena that uh, you're breaking new ground, uh, you are innovators, uh, you, you are the, the forefront, you're the leading edge for your country and, and for women all around. I, the, the, um, the, uh, the field that you're entering into, it, it's a, it is a tough one, you know, but you're making it not scary just by doing things like this boot camp. And again, congratulations to uh, the Codets Foundation uh, for, for picking up this initiative. I mean, the, the first step is just to, to start doing things and, and you all are doing that. And the projects that I hear from you um, uh, that, that you've uh, done over the course of the boot camp, uh, it, it's really amazing. Um, I, uh, I, I applaud the ingenuity involved, uh, the, the, the hard work, you know, boot camp in the, the U.S. context, I, I, as you all know, is about a lot of sweating and hard work. Um, and I, it looks like that you all have put the mental uh, part of that into, into play and probably some of the physical as well on some of the projects. So it, I think it's aptly named. Um, but again, you know, uh, you were uh, thanking us for the assistance, but, you know, really thank you all. This is a, a wonderful thing that you're doing. Uh, I applaud you on getting to, you know, the graduation day that you have in front of you here. And it, it's just the beginning. I, I know that for all of you, this is just, this is just the seed uh, that's been planted. And, uh, you know, Julie and the rest of the Codets Foundation has been uh, watering away on the <laughs> seed with all the good information, the inspiration. And that it's all going to grow. And this is, you know, the, this is the kind of experience that will launch you into things you would never have thought possible for yourselves previously. So each step into, in, into innovation, into uh, unknown fields, it becomes known, you know, and, and it makes the next step easier. And then the step after that. So again, congratulations. I, I wanna thank our public diplomacy uh, folks at the US Embassy, Ingrid, Shivali, Jake, uh, everyone who has, uh, who brought this forward and, and uh, uh, sh showed, showed me and, and uh, the, the funders how, how important this was. So thank you all. Uh, I, I wish you a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend, uh, you know, and a wonderful rest of your lives that you have in front of you. Uh, as, as you move forward into this field. So thank you very much for the opportunity to be here with you today. And, and I'm happy that y'all could be sort of in my virtual living room here. <laughs> um, wish, I wish we could be in person, but then again, hey, this is ICT. So maybe it's appropriate. Uh, but again, 
uh, congratulations to all of you. And just, you know, from the bottom of my heart, I, I really do admire what all of you are doing and, and the, uh, the impact that you will have. Pardon me, I'm a little distracted right now. My cat is, uh, has decided that this is the moment to be all loving on me. So hang on. Uh, <laughs> so pardon me, but again, thank you uh, to all of you and uh, congratulations. Thank you very much, um, Ms. Karen Williams. We appreciate your, your, your words of support and encouragement to, towards us. And yes, I was actually thinking about the position that you have. It must take a lot of courage and bravery to be in that position too. As much as we are taking risk, I admire your position as well. And yes, thank you, Jake Shivali and, and Ms. Ingrid for um, helping us make this possible. They've, Jake and Ms. Ingrid, has been um, with us since the beginning and, and, and has been back and forth with us to make sure that we are able to execute this project too. Uh, uh, yeah, so we'll move on to our next step. I would like, if you can still be with us, that my youngest student, Disha, will give a short presentation and my student that has been with me the longest, Ivy, will also give a presentation of her project and how she's impact um, students and young women in Suriname. So Disha, you may go ahead and take, you can take. Okay. Hi, my name is Disha. I am 14 years old and I am a participant of Kodats Bootcamp. Throughout Kodats Bootcamp, I learned many skills such as 3D printing, laser cutting, programming, and website building. My favorite part was probably 3D printing because I love building stuff. Um, recently, in May, I participated in a hackathon along with a few other girls. It was the Caribbean Girls Hackathon. We created, um, we created Farm Buddies, and Farm Buddies consists of a receiver and a sensor node. The sensor node will sense the information and send it to the receiver node, which will put it online. So you can basically um, see how your plan is doing from the internet. We ended up winning first place there. <laughs> and for my final project, I created Smart Nature. Smart Nature consists of a sensor and consists of a sensor node and then you have the actuator node. The sensor node will sense a plant's information such as light intensity, temperature, humidity, soil, salt, and water. This information will be sent through the internet to the actuator node, which will put it online for the lazy people who don't like to check on their plant plants. Um, for the rest, I want to say thank you so much for being with us here today. It means so much that you that we can have your support. Thank you. Thank you, Disha. <laughs> right. Um, Ivy, you can take, go, take, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Hi, everybody. I'm Ivy Amatrejo. I'm 44 years old and I'm a mom of two beautiful children. I'm a working mom. So um, I think I'm a living proof that learning doesn't go with age. So, um, well, I'm, I learn a lot at the bootcamp, but my favorite one is, um, is programming. I knew the basic, but uh, I learned two languages more at the bootcamp and it makes my programming skill on top now. Uh, so for my graduation project, I um, made the famous Pekin Panda. So I made it especially for children with dyslexia. So um, with this project, I can, I will try to improve the children's reading and writing skill in a playful and fun way because the panda is so adorable and it's sure good, good, cute looking. Um, and I've made it simple because children will be working with it. It has um, typing mode. That is when you cannot um, read a word, you just type the word that you can read on the screen and the panda will read the word for you. And the other one is the reading mode. Is that when you read the word, you can write out loud and the panda will write a word for you on the screen. Just simple like that. And um, uh, during the bootcamp, I, uh, we also joined the Hackomation and uh, we won the first prize. We have built tribe. Um, 
And uh, our product provides resort with a platform of add-ons that includes a dashboard uh, with a view of visitor identity and real-time location tracking. And the visitor gets a mobile app with an interactive map so they can see where they are on the resort and you can see where all your meets are on the resort itself. And so we won. It is a great achievement for us of all, especially how I'm the lead of the group. I'm very proud of us all, um, thanks to the bootcamp. So at last but not least, um, I want to show my gratitude to first the American Embassy for this great opportunity for us ladies. And a second, I want to thank the coaches, uh, Julie and Theo, for sticking with us, even though the pandemic strike us all. They were there, they had patience, and they helped us through all the times. So thank you again, everybody, um, the American Embassy, for this opportunity. Thank you very much, Ivy. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> all right. So um, before... Um, you have to leave us, Miss Karen Williams. I, uh, we would love to make a group picture with you and um, our the CODES ladies and also um, the graduates. If, so we will go ahead and do that. Sure. Sounds wonderful. Yes. Um, ladies, if you can turn your camera on. Um, Ivy, will you do the pleasure to make the screenshot for us? And Disha? Yes. I think you have to stop sharing your. Um, oh, I think so too. One second. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Great. Oh. Uh, um, should we show your camera is a bit blurry? I don't know. It's not good. Hi, so. Okay, Faith. Everyone, uh, perfect. I don't see Shuishka. Shuishka is cleaning her camera, I think. Oh, yes, perfect. Uh, perfect. Yes. Uh, Faith, you are on the sofa. Oh, yeah. Yes, Faith, you're upside down. And Sophie, there's a blurry part in the camera next to you. E4. Yes. Perfect. Okay. All right. Ready? Yes. One, oh. two, two, three. Oh, Faith is still. Oh, Faith. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. Perfect. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today. And last words for me from you guys to you guys is this is just the beginning. And um, for the first seven graduates, um, I wish you all the best and uh, congratulations to our work, to your to a job well done. And for just the graduates that still have some future graduates, we still have some stuff to finish. No one fails the boot camp. It's just some takes a bit longer than others. The reason why we ensure that we that we make sure that you finish the stuff before you graduate is because you will be hired by companies in Suriname and also regional, and we have to ensure the quality that the skills are developed before we can have you graduated. But you're welcome to finish up your cycle with us and we'll be here to work with you. I want to thank you again, Ms. Karen Williams for joining us. I want to thank Jane, Ms. Jake, Ms. Ingrid and Shivali, and also Thea Bomsma for, um, providing the IoT lab and for being uh, one of our top coaches uh, to help us get to where we are today. Thank you very much, everyone, and have a good day. Bye.